everyone, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sam Via. We're here in Montreal this week shooting editorial. We thought it'd be a great opportunity to step away from the camera and do a couple hot tip videos just for you. One of the really common challenges we face as hairdressers is weight. Weight shows up in so many places on haircuts and it can create big challenges for having balance within the haircut. One of the really common places that we see it is when we're building graduation, especially something like a graduated bob. And so that's what we're gonna look at. If you come over here to the doll head, you'll see I've cut this side of the head in the way that a lot of times it's done where we do create a lot of weight sitting right behind the ear. And what happens is it's all about the shape of the head and what happens with your lower body position. Let me grab some combs to show you what happens with the head shape here. What you'll notice is from about here to here on the back of the head, we have a surface that has a really slight curve to it. It's a little flatter. And then right about here, for those of you that are familiar with Redken's PBD language, you have the corner back. Right at that point of the corner back, the head shape actually changes very significantly and heads forward. So from there to there, we have that little flat curve, but then right about here, you can see the direction of the head changes really significantly. So right there is usually where the challenge comes from. And part of it is us being stuck behind our guests when we're trying to walk through our shapes. If I keep my body position back here behind the head, the challenge will come because we have a natural tendency to draw things to us. If I hand you something, what do you do to it? You grab it from my hand and you pull it into your body. Well, same thing happens with hair. When you grab a section of hair, your natural tendency is to bring it to your body. So if your body is back here, that means that this hair that's actually more on the side of the head is going to need to be pulled towards the back of the head to be cut. So you can see, if I bring this back, I have a lot of excess graduation, a lot of excess over direction. That's what creates that weight. Let me show you a little thing that I've found really helps to make sure that you don't build up that weight behind the ear. I'm gonna use the Sanvia five and three quarter inch wet cutting shear. The reason I'm gonna use this shear in particular is it's our shorter shear, so it's much easier for getting into these graduated shapes. We're gonna work in vertical sections. And we're going to use the same elevation that we used on the other side, which is about 45 degrees. I'm gonna take the fine teeth of the comb so I can really control the hair. Elevate to 45. I have a nice diagonal finger angle and I'm using the same guide that I had from the other side. I'm gonna come in and cut to that same exact guide from the other side so that you know that we have balance side to side. Maintain that 45 degree elevation and follow the graduation down into the nape of the neck. On my next section, the body position will only have to shift just a slight step. I only need to move slightly to get into right body position because I wanna bring it straight out to me. Now we still wanna build a little bit of length as we build forward. That's what gives that nice shape into the jawline. If I over direct too much, that's where I get my weight. So I need to find the balance. The balance is you get your body into the right position and you use your over direction to control, not drag the hair. So I am still over directing just to the previously cut section. So I follow the head shape nicely and build length into the jawline. Over direct back to my previously cut, find my guide, and then cut to my guide. Now, the one thing that I'm really liking too with these shears is we have that forward set thumb position. And that forward set thumb position allows me to not put my hand in nearly as an awkward position as usual when cutting these graduations. Because a lot of times what I see is as I walk around the salon floor, I'm having to do a lot of correction with my stylist on body position. 
But if you look, everything's in a very natural body position here. And I'm not tweaking my wrist to get in and cut that hair. And a lot of that's because of that forward that set thumb position. So here's where the challenge starts to begin. Now, I need to move my tripod instead of my body around my guest because otherwise I'm going to put my back to you. So if this was my guest, I would take a step to here so that I'm square with that corner. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and move her a little bit. And you'll see that was a lot of movement that I had to create to get into the proper body position in this corner. And that's exactly what happens is a lot of times we just don't move enough. Even if we've moved a little bit, we didn't move enough to get into the correct position. Make sure you keep the hair damp as you're working so that you have even porosity. As that hair dries, if you cut it after it's dried a little bit, of course, what's going to happen is you're going to have irregularity from side to side. If you cut the other side soaking wet and you cut this side about 50%, even that is going to cause imbalance side to side. So again, I have to move my body position a little bit more to make sure that I'm in the right position. And as you can see, I'm standing pretty much square to that portion of the head almost as if I was going to bring it into natural fall. But what I do is I use my previously cut section, I comb from the outside in to create my over direction to the previously cut section, and that's going to give me just the perfect amount of over direction so that I still get the angle that I want without actually creating that excess bulk sitting right behind the ear. So as you can see, I still have that angle forward, but it's a much, much softer angle. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and dry this for you so that you can really see visually the difference side by side. All right, so we've done our blow dry. We used our Samvia nine row finishing brush to give it a really nice bevel. And you can see what we have is a really nice flow to this line now. It doesn't have that weight and the bulk that we did on the other side. So let's compare that to that. Completely different, right? So you can see by making sure that we adjust our body position once we get to that corner back and really shift and step into the area that we need to be in, we can really, really lean that out behind the ear and give it a much nicer shape. Now, before we finish up, I do want to clarify one thing. We're not saying that you cannot use that technique of the strong over direction that we did on the other side. What we're saying is a lot of times we don't want that extra weight and we put it in there because we unknowingly put the extra weight into it through the over direction. So we really hope that that helps you. Make sure that you get nice, lean, very, very balanced shapes. I'm Andrew Carruthers for Sam Villa.